What's up, what's up, what's up? That's right. Welcome to the Tom Mo Show with your one and only host straight out of Washington, D.C., Southeast. What's his name? Tom Mo. That's right, man. I'm here in the flesh. Once again, Wednesday night, man. We live. Guess what? So much going on in our city, man. The day was a blast. Yes, indeed. Y'all see me, man. Yeah, I'm representing. I'm representing, man. Ain't a whole lot to that, man, because guess what? Go-Go is most definitely official here in Washington, D.C., man. Mayor Bowser made that today. You know what I'm saying? So if you wasn't down there, man, we're going to show you some little clips, man, of some, you know, some of the activities that went on. I was down there front row seat. Okay, I was standing up, but I was down there. You know what I mean? Right at the front, like we was back in the day in the 80s when Essence Grid started. I'm right there with my phone, you know, because I had to do the Tom Mo, uh, uh footage down there to be able to share it with some people, man, that be following me, you know what I mean, that's not from D.C. that keeps up with what's going on. So, look, before I get started with that, man, what I want to do is um, I want to uh, uh, um, 
it's just so hard, man, when we, we, we lose people, man, in the industry, uh, in the world that we live in, man. We, we most definitely just lost a, a wonderful uh, black sister. Um, yeah, we, uh, she go by the name Malona on uh, Good Times, man. Yeah, man, we want to just, man, uh, send our prayers and love out to uh, her family. Uh, as well as the fans, you know what I mean? Because uh, I used to watch uh, Lamont, Lamont, I can't say her name, on, on Good Times uh, all the time. Because she, back then, they was calling her Fox. She was a Fox back then. And, uh, you know, she, she didn't go home, man, to meet her, meet her maker, man. And um, I already know, man, she, she, she lived a good life. I know she did, because she was on there. Good time been on for how long? Man, a long yes. time. That show went a long time, man. And she was one of the major uh, roles on there. So just wanted to, like I said, man, give our uh, condolences for her. Now, um, today uh, was a special day, man, right here in D.C. once again. As I was saying that, uh, go, go, man. Finally made, or should I say, finally making their mark in the world. You know what I mean? Um, it's nothing like, man, celebrating something that you work hard for for years. Now, a lot of stuff that goes on with the go-go community and stuff like that, I don't really be going to. But I had to go to this one. I had to be a part of this one because I came out of that era when Go-Go first kicked off in D.C., man. When they first, I'm talking about when they first kicked off, man, when Junkyard was playing in, in the backyard, when Essence was up Highland, when Essence used to come down to Bury Farm, um, when uh, EU used to play at Savoy, when Trouble Funk used to play at Anacostia, you know, all those days, uh, Howard Theater, uh, just like the brother said on uh, uh, when he was talking, how when we knew somewhere the go-go was going to be, man, we'll all get together and we'll go. Don't have no car or nothing, man. We, we'll walk. We'll get on the back door of the bus. We did whatever it takes to get to that go-go and then worry about how we're going to get home <laughs> after that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we had to walk, because I remember me, uh, back in the day, I went to hear the Battle of the Bands at the Howard up Northwest. And uh, I, I know we caught a bus up there. We got on the bus and got up there. And um, I think about at the end of it, a fight broke out in that joint. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And when we came outside, Slim, it was like every man for himself. I mean, you you was getting popped. You you know, if you wasn't rumbling, you was somebody trying to get you. <laughs> Indeed. Um, and what we did was we we started running towards the bus stop, which we were trying to get on um, the X bus. X4, X, X2. X2 or something yeah. like that up the uptown. We had, to, we had to try to get on that joint. But when we got on there, this is a true story. When we got on that joint, the dudes from up northwest got on that joint too. So now we on that joint rumbling. We kicking windows out the bus, jumping off the, you know, out the window, trying to get away, Slim. I mean, cause you know, they beefing. <laughs> it's on. We running. Now we we running from from the high theater because we couldn't get on the bus. The bus wouldn't even move now. Mm -hmm. Cause everybody fighting all around the joint. We run all the way to Navy Yard to get on the 94 to get back across the bridge. Get Slim, you, why did them niggas, man, them niggas was down there pulling up in cars, <laughs> trying to catch us getting on the buses, Slim. No joke, we end up running across the bridge just to get on the south side. Oh. Get I'm talking about Slim. That was a regular, though. Yeah. It wasn't like just that night. <laughs> just to go to see guns. Yeah, just to go to hit them bands, man. Yeah, but the sure. same thing happened when they came on that side of the bridge, when Northwest came on that side of the bridge. Oh, yeah, Southeast had some form, man. <laughs> we had some form, man. But those were the old days. That was the old school days, man. That's when Junk and them was just doing the, uh, the, um, 
with the uh, the uh, uh, the movie where they they was they did uh, I think they did a commercial for um, Morton's that was on the corner of Pennsylvania Avenue. Mm -hmm. They didn't change that joint now, but that's they they did that commercial for Morton's down there. That was I mean that's what I'm saying. That thing was way back before now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that that those brothers man was putting that work in uh, Sugar Bear. Um, my man Rez was with Rez and the Boys, mm -hmm. uh, Mass Extinction. You know, there's a whole lot of bands that's, you know, that didn't proceed on mm -hmm. that was back then. You know what I mean? That was cranking, man. But, yeah, but we know now, man, that, hey, anywhere you go now, man, when you say something about Gogo, man, they're going to recognize it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So, that was a good thing, man, and a wonderful thing. Yeah. So, look, I want to move forward. I'll, I'll pick this up. This right here, man. This is something gonna be going on. This, can you see it? I wanna, I wanna, most definitely, man. Give him, give him some playtime right here on the Tom Mo Show, man. Y'all need to check it out, man. Try to get with it. Um, twenty bands for twenty dollars. Heartbeat. But y'all already know how the uh, Congo I go, man. They be going hard. Ain't no whole lot to that. But um, my guest today, man, ain't no stranger to the Tom Mo Show, man. You know what I mean? But I'm going to let him introduce himself once again. And then uh, we're going to go from there, man. Uh, it's your boy T.Dot Carter, man. You know, Southeast D.C., man. Up and coming artist, you know. Yes, indeed. Uh, T.C., man, is uh, my son. If y'all don't know, if y'all don't remember the last time he came on here, man, when I first started the show, he came on here, man, and made that joint lit. He did his thing, man, you know what I mean? And uh, since then, man, he's been still working on projects and, and doing, you know, what he do, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wheel him in with me. Y'all already know I'm the plug now. You do what I'm saying? Yeah, straight like that. And uh, I'm trying to pull him in, man, because... I got a whole lot going on in the industry, man. There's a whole lot that I can do with him in the industry. And I'd rather him be with me than anybody else to, to, to make sure, you know, his career go in the right direction that it need to go in. That he ain't going to be, you know, you know, misled. You know what I'm saying? What he supposed to get, he going to get. You know what I mean? And, and, I mean, who don't want that? Who don't want that, man? Come on, man. Knowing that somebody got your back showing up, showing up. And gonna push you all the way to the limit. You dig? So man, I told him to stop by tonight, man. Um, we was gonna have uh, uh, Miss OG stop through too, but unfortunately she ran into some situations that she said she wasn't gonna even make it tonight. But I did give her the phone number and told her, man, if she could call, we'd do a quick interview on her uh, if she called in. But until then, so tell me um, about some of the stuff you've been doing because you said you ain't dropping nothing yet, but. Yeah, I mean, I've been, you know, just working on music. Before I came, to, before I came in, I was working on music. I was um, creating songs and stuff like that. You know, I was just in the studio recently, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I created like a couple songs, t t two, three songs, you know. Um, but I ain't dropping that yet. You know, I do got a CD coming out um, called Let Me Vent. It's going to be on all platforms. You said Let Me Vent? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let okay. Me Vent, stay focused, stay humble. That's going to be nice. But I, I do I do got a CD out now, though, on Spin Rather, you know, Product Volume 1. Just type in T.Dot Carter. You yeah. know, it's going to yeah. pop we up. We couldn't play it? Could, hmm. we, could we pull it up on um, YouTube? Um, you got I got a video on YouTube. Can we pull that up? We'll, we'll try to pull that up when we go on a break, just for we can kind of uh, see what's going, you know, see what he's been doing and what what's been happening with him. Um, it's, I got I got I got a, a platform that um coming up. I'm not gonna talk too much about it right now. Um, the name the name of it though is Music Alert, and um, I'm talking. We're gonna have some major artists on this platform, man. It's gonna be pretty much like a competition. Yeah. It's gonna be a first, second, and third place competition in the, and uh, it's different slots for different things. If you come in third, third place, you're gonna get a certain package. If second place, a certain package. And everybody know first place, you're gonna get the bomb package. Period. That's you know that's going how it's gonna go. But I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to reveal the whole thing about it. 
until I got some other uh, guests that's going to come on next week and, and, and have them pretty much sit down and explain everything about it. That if anybody that's out there that's interested, then you need to contact me. You can call me tonight at 240-719-2560, and I can plug you in. I can get you on this platform, man, to, man, you know, to let you battle your way to the top because that's what it's going to be about. And I'm saying if, and if you think you hot and you know you got what it takes, then you need to be calling in saying, man, hey, here's my number. Call me, man, before I can get on that. Is there any way we can cut these lights down, man? I feel like I'm in a sauna. I'm burning up up in this joint here. Y'all see me sweating? I think they did that on purpose because I complained about how cold it was one time. <laughs> say he won't be complaining about that no more. But, uh, yeah, but this joint going to be a smash hit, man. Um, let's do it again. Band was down um, Baltimore last weekend, man. Man, I, I'm trying to tell you, man, these, these brothers, man, they, they not playing, man. They hit they hitting and the sticking. They hitting and the sticking, man. We went down there, man. And we we perform. I mean, if you go on um, let's do it again, band page, uh, Facebook, um, they got clips up already. You can kind of see what the atmosphere was about. Um, I mean, it's just I don't know, man. I got a whole vision for the band and where I'm trying to take them to. But it's like these dudes here, man, they, man, they ready. They ready. That's all I can tell you. They ready, man. I mean, their performance, their accuracy, their music, everything is just tight now. They, you know, it's like, man, you know, they ain't playing. They gelling together so well. So what I'm going to do now, man, I'm going I'm to bring us back to D.C. We're not going to be at uh, Costello's this weekend. We're going we to take a break this weekend, man. You know, because we've been playing every weekend, man, for the last, I want to say, what, what what's the date? Probably a month and a half or a month and two weeks. We've been playing every weekend. Uh, so we're going to take a break this weekend. But next weekend, we'll be back at it. Trust and believe that. Um, and also with the um, Music Alert, uh, Let's Do It Again Band, and show will be on that platform. Uh, I have a um, date to go to New York. This Saturday to IHOP Radio, uh, two, two, good, two good men uh, to, you know, talk about uh, boogie shoes. You know, I'm going to try and get some spins on that in New York. Um, also, I'm going to have uh, my artist uh, trying to get her song some spins uh, in my arms. So... It's just going to be a busy month this month, man. But it's so much, you know, stuff happening on the outside, though. You know what I mean? That's all business, but there's a lot of other stuff going on around me, man, that I got to deal with as well. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break and uh, play one of my songs, man, and we're going to see if we can pull up uh, TC uh, new video. He, he said that he's working on. Huh? We're going to go to the Mayor Bowser. Yeah, we're going to go back to the Mayor Bowser and what we did today down on um, Southwest for the uh, initiation of the go-go being official right here. So we're going we're gonna to hit that on the commercial, and then we'll be right back at you. All right? Hello, D.C. When I say go, go, you say is DC. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. And today we're going to let the world know that go, go is DC. Go, go is our native language. Now, some of us were super blessed. We were born right here in Washington, D.C. And we, we don't say that we're proud to be native Washingtonians to exclude anybody. We just say we're native Washingtonians because we're proud of it. 
And no matter where you go, if you're like me, everybody knows you're from D.C. They know about the shrimp boat. They know about Chuck Brown. They know about Ben's Chili Bowl. They know about the Howard University. And now they know Go Go is D.C. And we have our council members to thank for making sure that no matter when you come to D.C., you will know that it is the law of the land that Go Go is the official music of Washington, D.C. So our good friend Marion Barry, before he died, he created the Office of African American Affairs in the mayor's office. And at the time, people said, hey, that's Chocolate City. Why do you need an office of African-American affairs? And he knew what we all know now is that we have to do everything in our power to protect our culture. And we don't have to apologize for it. And what will tell you that Goko has taken him a long way. And he will also tell you, like he tells people in California and anybody else who will listen, that artists, musicians, creatives can work in Washington, D.C. You don't have to go to L.A. or New York or New Orleans. You can earn a living and raise your families right here in Washington, D.C. Now, there's a lot that we got to do. We got to keep working on affordable housing, right? We got to keep on working on safety in our communities, right? We have to keep on making sure that everybody gets a fair shot in Washington, D.C. Now, Kenyon and Trayon and I, you know, we're lucky, like a lot of you, we were born here. But we also get to be leaders of 14 people, really, that decide how $15.5 billion gets spent each and every year. Now, it's one thing to have an official... Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I said we all must go. Come on. We're drinking in the morning. We're jumping in the evening time.
Hey, 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 that's right. I'm back again, man. If you just joining us, welcome to the Tom Mo Show with your host, straight out of Washington, D.C., Southeast. What's his name? Tom Mo. Hey, Mike, you slow on that one, Mike. Come on, you know better. But look, look who popped in. Big Mike. That's right, he popped in, man. Mike, tell him where you coming from. Straight out of Southeast. What's happening? <laughs> what about that uh, gig you was at before you came in? Oh, yeah, I just left a uh, MGM. A uh, buddy of mine goes by the name Kenny Sway. He has a sing single release party. Anybody that's not hip to Kenny Sway, you can follow him on Instagram at Kenny underscore, underscore Sway. Uh, up and coming uh, artist. Uh, he started out as a street musician. Performance. So some of you might be familiar with him performing like down at Gallery Place or um, Foggy Bottom Subway Station. He's always out there performing. Uh, pretty good young man, man. And he's he's got some good things coming uh, real soon. Yeah, well, he most definitely uh, sound good. I done heard some of his music. Uh -huh. uh, he sound good. And he's taking the same road that Junkyard took when they came out. Absolutely. They stayed in Georgetown. They need to make a movie about junk, man. They need yeah. to make a movie about that, man. Right? Well, they, we can do that. It ain't they yeah. need to make a movie. You and you can do that. Yeah. Just like when me and you was down where we was at today. Yeah. And you was talking to all them people. Yeah. And all them people was telling you. Yeah. Call me yeah. when you need someone to talk. To. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. so it's no such thing as they need it because you are the man to make that come alive. It's your thought already. Now, a lot of people may have thought about doing it, but never proceeded. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I was talking to Mo Shore today. Yeah. Mo Shore today. So, Good man. Good yeah, man. all I had to do is call him on the phone and say, hey, Mo, look, guess what, man? Man, my man Mike, man, we thinking about doing a movie about Junkyard. Yeah. And see if he give us the okay. Because we can't do nothing just they give us the green light. Yeah. So that's something, man, that y'all may hear in the future, man. You know what I'm saying? So, look. TC got this video set up, man. Tell us about the video, then we're gonna, we gonna go ahead and go right into it. Alright, um, I made this video. I don't know, I just dropped the joint. It was a nice song I created while I was just chilling on the block. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's about um, it's about pills. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Zans, perks, you get what I'm saying? It's about turning up, you get what I'm saying? It's about if you listen to the lyrics, you can see what it really do to you. Right, you get right. what I'm saying? Even though it's a popping song, you right. know what I'm saying? Okay. You gotta read between the context. Right. Uh, okay. How I was living at the time. Mm-hmm. You was living off the pills and shit. Damn. It's a time. I've been missing. I've, I've been missing. <laughs> Well, I tell it's you, things sure time. change when they get older, right? Okay. <laughs> but I did drop the video. It's called on um, 30FT.com via YouTube. You know, just type in T.com on the um, search bar. It's going to pop up. So. Okay. Well, we're going to take a quick peek at it. I'm living 
living my dream. This is life that I live. Give a fuck what you think. That should be over with. I never noticed it. Pop me a 30, you know that I'm jamming, bitch. Most of you bitches, you niggas can't handle it. My life is different. I never been average. Value me up, man. I'm popping like everything. Trying to test different. The bitch never wanting me. Turning me up cause I'm lit and they loving me. This is the life that I'm living. Come fuck with me. I cannot fall asleep. I just got 30 points. Throw me a test. Now my nigga just hold me down. We been out walking all day. See my pockets swell. I am that dope boy. That nigga that in the club. What goes around comes around. I can't let it go. Pop me a just to go to sleep. Meditate. This is the life that I'm living. A heavyweight. This is the life that I'm living like every day. I cannot fall asleep. I just got 30 points. Throw me a test. Now my nigga just hold me down. We been out walking all day. See my pockets swell. I am that dope boy. That nigga that in the club. What goes around comes around. I can't let it go. Pop me a just to go to sleep. Meditate. This is the life that I'm living. A heavyweight. This is the life that I'm living like every day. She wanna hop in the ring with a heavyweight. Breaking this scale, bitch. I'm using it every day. Dipping, I'm dipping, I'm surfing the waterway. They say they love me, my heart is in pieces. This life that I'm living, they say I need treatment. This pistol, this money, this product I'm eating. My man just bought 30. Ay, ay, I just bought 30. Hey, hey, hey. scamming, my money been stocking. My plug been reacting. He see me out trapping. Can't be relaxing the streets out here taxing. I know that they looking, they see me on moves. All the bad the bitches loving my groove. Pistol on me, so in love with my two. Keep on trapping, keep on breaking the rules. Money making, yes, that's just what I do. Fuck them niggas, fuck them niggas with you. Pop me a 30, then go on the move. I just been trapping, ayy, ayy. My plug been reacting, ayy, ayy. I cannot fall asleep. I just got 30 points. Throw me a test, now my nigga just hold me down. We been out walking all day, see my pockets swell. I am that dope boy, that nigga that in the club. What goes around, comes around, I can't let it go. Pop me a zen just to go to sleep, meditate. This is the life that I'm living, a heavyweight. This is the life that I'm living like every day. I cannot fall asleep. I just got 30 points. Throw me a test, now my nigga just hold me down. We been out walking all day, see my pockets swell. I am that dope boy, that nigga that in the club. What goes around, comes around, I can't let it go. Pop me a zen just to go to sleep, meditate. This is the life that I'm living, a heavyweight. This is the life that I'm living like every day. Come on, come on, man. Let's give him some love. <laughs> Let's give him some love, man, about that jump right there, man. I live like this every day. I can't sleep. I stay awake. <laughs> I, I, I be just trying to figure out, man, like, I never was a rapper. You know what I mean? Like, I used to be able to do the little Sugar Hill joint, though. <laughs> the hip, the hobby, the hip and do the hobby, the don't stop a rocket to the bang, bang, boogie. <laughs> <laughs> The boogie through yeah, the boogie that, the beat. Well, at the time, that was rap. Yeah, at the time. Yeah, Sugar Hill Gang. They was, they was popping back then. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, I like that, man. You know. <laughs> I mean, you do nice work. Everything that I've seen, you do nice work. You know me, I'm pretty much less of the uh, violence and the, the cursing and all that. But it, that's that's the part of the program nowadays to uh, do what you do. Yeah. And um, you most definitely got a gift, man, because you got a lot of songs. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to be able to do all these songs and remember them all is, is amazing, man. I guess that's what that, that uh, tree do for you. <laughs> that that loud. <laughs> that song make you Because I just know, I just, they just did a study on the brain for old timers and uh, people that forget stuff. Mm -hmm. They saying that they did a test with though they remember. smoke marijuana. It, it you know it boosts their brain to you know memory. <laughs> like sir, I, I just don't seen think it. that's true. I'm just saying that's what they yeah, had. I just TV. know and with with the music, it's a rhythm, it's a pattern right. always in your music. Okay. And you learn the pattern, you going It's just like yeah, it's like mumbling. Yeah, yeah. A song, you get what I'm saying. Even though you ain't saying the words, it's day to day. Yeah, you yeah, get what I'm yeah. Saying? Okay. Just, I'm going to do me a song and just be mumbling <laughs> and see if I can make it. <laughs> they did it before. <laughs> Mommy <Yeah>. rap. <laughs> so, so, um, so, Mike. Yeah. What you got going on, Mike? Because you always busy. I, I call you. You got to <laughs> call me back. So tell me what's going on with you. Um, well, we're working on a partnership with uh, DC Dream Center uh, to help increase the traffic with the young people. Um, we also... Work Let me ask you film. before you go further. When you say help decrease the traffic, what increase you mean? the traffic. Well, they just built a seven million dollar facility, and it's it's spacious, but they don't have a lot of young people coming 
into the DC Dream Center. Mm -hmm. They want to have more people in there so they can reach out and help more people. They, it's a good program. They they teach um, martial arts, uh, sports, different sports. They teach music. They teach you how to play instruments. They teach you art, like the theory of art. And also they actually teach you how to actually paint mm -hmm. and mix colors and create different things. Okay. And they also have computer classes. It's a lot of things, and it's free to the community. Um, it's not um, specific to D.C. residents. If you can make it there, uh, you're welcome. Uh, they have tutorial programs to help young people with homework. And they also try to set every uh, participant up with a mentor. And this mentor stays with them from the age of five all the way to the age of 17. Okay. This means the entire time you're in school, you have somebody to help you maybe with homework or if you're having problems at home or anything like that. So they want us to partner with them because we know how to speak to the people in the community mm -hmm. because um, they, I believe they're looked upon as strangers in the community right now. So they got this big old facility, and it's not a whole lot of young people coming through there. So let me, let me ask you this because you say they look like or feel like strangers in the community. What is it, a racial thing? What they what? Yeah, that's part of it. And, um, and, and most of the people are not Washingtonians. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. you know, when they had the youngins speaking to them, like, man, I'm straight out the trenches. I'm mm -hmm. from around the park or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't, mm -hmm. they don't know what they're talking right, about. You right, know, they, right, so. right, right, okay. So the communication barrier is one of the things that's probably keeping more people from being receptive. And mm -hmm. it's Christian-based. Okay. That's okay. another thing. But they have basketball tournaments. They have... Um, job fairs. It's a it's a great a great organization, mm -hmm. and it's national. You know, it's not just in Washington D.C. Right. It's all over the country. Right, right. But they just decided to build one here. Yes, right. yes. Because it's I mean in the community it's necessary. So um, they where is it located? To, um, it's located on Q Street Southeast, right off Pennsylvania Avenue. If anybody's okay. familiar with the the D.C. Uh, the Southeast White House, you know, coming up Pennsylvania Avenue, heading out to Maryland, you it's on the right hand side. Uh, right across, from, I'm trying to remember this funeral home. You that's talking right about? You talking about um, uh, Pope? Yeah, Pope it's Pope like Pope. right there. So it's right behind there. It's on Q Street. It's called the DC Dream Center, and um, it's it's gonna it's gonna be something that helps the community out a lot. Uh, we're in talks with them about doing a partnership to help increase the traffic, right. you know, coming through those doors. Right, right. Okay. Um, also working on a film. A docu series. Uh, the first one is uh, we're gonna start shooting very soon. Um, as he was saying today, uh, we met up with some people from the mayor's office who are interested in being a part of the film. So that's gonna be coming. I want to say fall of this year. By the time school starts back up for the kids, mm. we're gonna be releasing it. We're also gonna be doing a soundtrack where we're gonna use local artists. Uh, Sound track is going to consist of 10 tracks. Uh, we're going to be opening the door up to the local artists who have original music. Um, this original music has to be something based on the expression of everyday life of young people. And that's not to, that's not to say that we don't want it to be real or anything like that. We do, but we want it from a young person's perspective. We don't want... So, so as you said... Basically, I can don't even think about me doing me a track on there. No, that's it's fine as long as well. Look at this. You had Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes had a song called "Wake Up Everybody," mm -hmm. and they probably was older than you, you know. Mm -hmm. So at the time, mm -hmm. so no, it's, it's it has to be something about that because right. the film is going to be about young people, you know, expressing <laughs> themselves. Yeah, so you all right, man. Yeah. I thought you went to sleep for a minute. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, listen. The film, the film is going to be about young people expressing themselves. So right. the music has to be geared in that direction. Okay. It has to okay. be geared in, like, youth expression. You think you handle something like that? Think you can do a track? Oh, I got mm -hmm. all genres of music. Like, that right there, that's an old that you just heard. Like, yeah. I don't need rap like that no more. Yeah. Oh, man. I know more some old, yeah, like, different. Like, okay, so, okay, that's what's up. Of course, he was a he was a young person before. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He know what what he felt, what was missing. You know what was you know what was an obstacle that he had to face. Mm -hmm. All of those things. 
school, yeah. whatever whatever it is. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to slide my son in the movie. That's it. That's all. <laughs> ain't no love to that. You know what I mean? He got, he got talent. He got skills. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be on one of them tracks. Ain't no love to that. I'm going to be in the background singing. Mm-hmm. Be whatever you want to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? As long as it's something based on that. You can even, it could be your band. Yeah, yeah. You know, as long as it's based on, you know, the thought behind the film, which is, you know, youth expression. Right. Youth expression. Um, we're going to be following that one up with three more. It's a, Like I said, it's a docuseries. It consists of four films. Because we are already in the process of shooting the first one, I don't have a problem talking about the first one, but be on the lookout for, I want to say by the top of 2021, we should have at least two of them out. Okay. Um, after we complete that, we're going to be going into a docuseries where, well, it's not going to be a docuseries. Um, at this point, it's just going to be a, one film, um, probably approximately like two hours left. We're going to travel around the country and um, just speak to people about certain things. I'm a, that's all I'm going to give you right now for that. So. Okay, okay. I, I, um, I already know, man, that, that uh, you're going to do well on it, man, because your energy into what you're doing, man, is way on a high level, man, on a high level. Because uh, we was together today, like I say, down there with the uh, go-go band, uh, what I want to call it, um, Explosive, because it, it, you know it's, it's, it, the joint was off the chain. Yeah, it was big. But um, when we was down there, um, you know, Mike was knowing people. You know, he was talking to people, interacting with people. You know, sharing his idea. He was getting feedback, and of course, he telling me, "Man, you need to go talk to this dude. Tell him go talk to him about your band. Man, go talk to him about your band." And I'm saying, "Okay, yeah, that's cool too." But me personally, I'm like, I'm not really. It's too much going on right now for me to be kind of trying to lay my spiel down about my band. So when we got back in the car, he was like, man, man, what you doing, man? He called me scared, man. He said, man, man, you scared, man. I'm like, I just know that, you know, certain times for certain people, you do things. His energy was most definitely on point to do what he's doing because he got a project that he's working on. And my energy was pretty much on a Tom Tomo show. I'm just trying to videotape some stuff about this historic moment that's going on. It wasn't about let's do it again, bam, for me today down there. So um, I just know that that energy, I have the same energy. Yeah, but. Okay, here go the butt. Let's, let's, okay. Let's do the Check butt. this out. <laughs> First and foremost, you have the Tom O show. The mm. Tom O show. Mm-hmm. You also have Let's Do It Again band, right? And which show. Is, which band and show, which yeah. actually is a go-go band. So what R&B better place? It, go-go. R&B, go, it's, it, it, nah, nah, it, it don't have nothing to do with the actual music. It has something to do with how it's presented. Right. So it's go-go. Okay. It don't make a difference. It's church music. Okay. Okay, the point being is that. Because they do got church go-go music. I got somebody who's looking for a church go-go band, oh, but that's neither here nor there. Right, right now, I'm saying the opportunity was there to speak to people who may put you in a position to do what you want to do. Now, by you not taking that opportunity, when people was in a good mood, you understand what I'm saying? Now, you might have to go through the politics, whereas you might could have got an open heart or open hand today because mm-hmm. everybody was in a good mood. Mm-hmm. Chance favors a prepared mind. Right. Always be ready. Mm-hmm. To take advantage of an opportunity when it presents itself. Right. No matter what it is. That's right. You Me see what too. I'm saying? You never know. I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know that they had an office that dealt with film and entertainment in the, um, D.C. I didn't right. even know they had that. Right. Right. Until the day, but when, when right. it, I was ready. Right. Right. Cocked and loaded. Now they t- now they tell me if you got a go-go band and you want to move further into this community with your your band mm-hmm. that. All you need to know is Ron Moten. Oh, yeah? I got his phone number in my, in my phone. He's the, the ambassador? Uh, most definitely. Well, I thought they, they said Big G was the ambassador. That's what they said. But Big G probably wouldn't be Big G if it wasn't for Ron Moten. Uh, because, you know, Ron Moten was a part of the piece piece of Harley. Yeah. And you know, Big G came out of the piece of Harley. Yeah. 
You hear me? Peace of Hard was the one See, funding I'm, I'm not, funding him to go do See, I'm not the really, movie. I'm not really familiar What's, with it what because... What's the name of that movie? Um, um, you know, I was in jail, so I don't, I'm not really uh, familiar with it. What's the name of the movie, man? Wire? Wire, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you follow what I'm saying? All I'm, only thing I'm trying to say is, in my defense, mm -hmm. is that the guy Ron Moten is the man, we already connected. We already connected. It's just it's just gonna take time for but he, us to make a decision on how he's gonna be able to help me, you know, how I'm gonna be able to move forward with my well, band he, he far at that events. level. He does have You know what I'm events, saying? Yeah. But see I creates my own shows though. Yeah. See I goes out see, you, you and, and do my curve. own vin you know, yeah, my you. own stuff because I'm I'm not a person who wanna wait on people. I don't wanna be waiting on people. You know, like I don't even like asking people to do stuff. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because I was talking to someone the other day and I was explaining to them that don't let other people mess your life up. Yeah. Because other people can do that. Meaning, example, me and you together, mm -hmm. and we run into TC. Mm hmm. TC said, man, look, man, I'm beefing with this nigga around the corner, man. I'm going to go hang that, man. Y'all, come on. Mm -hmm. We roll with him. Mm -hmm. Now, all three of us locked up somewhere. Mm -hmm. We done let this man <laughs> destroy our future because of something he was involved in. See, that's how me, well, I ain't going to say me and you both, <laughs> but that's how we always end up in trouble for somebody else. When I quote my case, it wasn't about me. It was about me helping somebody else. Yeah, well, everybody got their own mind, right? That's what I'm trying to um, tell you. That's what I'm saying. You got to be able to I mean, control your own destination. Yeah. Now, the best thing that we should have done when... TC said, man, hey, I got a beef with this nigga around the corner. Come on. Man, look, come on, man. Come on, TC. Let's, let's deal with that another time. Let's go the opposite way. Why? Because now what's happening is we, we not only saving ourselves, but we saving him too. Did you follow what I'm saying, man? I just know to be aware of letting other people get me caught up. And it's done happened so many times in life. And if you just think about certain things, a lot of stuff we get in trouble for don't even be your own stuff. Yeah. Be somebody else. You just, you being a friend, you being, you know, I'm there for you. Man, all right, I'm going to roll with you. Instead of saying, nah, man, come on, nigga, let's go here. Let's do that. We ain't even tripping about that. Come on, man, let's go there. Now, if he decided he wanted to just, man, I'm going by myself then, then that's on him. That's the decision he made. I'm looking at it from two different angles. Yeah, let me hear Because, you know, because, you know, we, we done went through it. The first angle I'm looking at it from is that, you know, we're saying this and we're in the presence of nephew right now. You right, know what I'm right, saying? So right. I would I would want to tell nephew to make the right decision in situations such as that and anything that's similar to that. I'm never going to tell nephew something wrong right i'm not going to tell him man yeah you should do never would i do that with any you know but i mean like i said it's 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 the decision that people make and it's consequences the problem i have is that people make these decisions and then when the consequences come they're not ready to deal with it and then they turn rat <laughs> or they turn, you know what I'm saying, or turn, go to jail and turn gay or whatever. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you're not prepared to deal with the, the, the consequences behind it. Right. And unfortunately for me, I was raised by somebody who prepared me for crime and prison and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, and I say unfortunate for me because although I was aware of how things move and, and, and everything like that, I was robbed of something else. I was robbed of exploring my potential. Mm -hmm. Now I'm here, you know, uh, I'm about to shoot a film, and I ain't had no type of formal training. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I, I got an entertainment company. Mm -hmm. I ain't had no type of formal training. Mm -hmm. I didn't put out mixtapes, videos, mm -hmm. all this stuff. You know, had events. No type of, but the potential was always there. The, the talent. And so, you know, it, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing the film I'm doing because we don't have enough people that's that's trying to uh, uh, guide young people in the right direction. That's right. that's right. We don't we don't as adults take our responsibility willingly. Right. We don't really feel like we owe nothing to the young people. Mm -hmm. We don't have a we don't have a problem showing the wrong example in front let's, of young people. Let's 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 change the wording a little bit. Let's don't say we because we do. No, no. When I say we, I right. mean. Adults, right. the majority of the adults right. in the community, they don't right. have a problem uh, um, flashing guns in front of young people, mm -hmm. smoking in front of young people, mm -hmm. you know, beating on women and doing doing mm -hmm. all type of wild stuff in front of young people. In front of the kids, and you don't realize that young people, they learn from what they see. Exactly, exactly. They don't learn from what they hear. They learn from what they see. So you can tell them, go to school and do this. But every time they walk on the front, you post it up out front. Mm -hmm. and, but you telling them to go to school, man, mm -hmm. they don't hear that. They see what you're doing and they follow that. Mm -hmm. And the problem is that when mm -hmm. we get older, we forget that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I I, I um I, I could just look back, man, on when uh when when my son was um uh, a kid, man. Mm -hmm. We got a call to come in. Let's see this. Thanks for calling the Tom Mo Show. What's happening? Hello? Don't call in and be scared. Yeah, somebody. All right, let's hang that up, man. We got we got something else going on. <laughs> so as I was saying that um when when TC was a kid, mm -hmm. which he probably don't even remember because he was like five mm -hmm. or something like that, but. I know that me being his his parent, his guardian, mm -hmm. growing up, those type of things wasn't at his disposal. He mm -hmm. he could not. I would never let him see half of the yeah. bad stuff, yeah. the bad decisions that yeah. I was making. Yeah. And and I'm telling this is the truth. We used to live on Valley Avenue, yeah. and the guys used to be out front yeah. smoking weed and all that. Yeah. And I made it a point, Slim. Uh uh. Not in front of my building where my kids mm -hmm. gotta come out here and play. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta take that somewhere else, huh? Mm -hmm. Or oh, it's gonna be war right here. Yeah. And I'm talking about that's real deal. Yeah. And they, you know, of course they wanted to job try to buck. Yeah. But that name, let me look at the screen. That yeah. name Tom O meant something. They knew, yeah. man, let me go on over here. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I felt the same thing you felt. I'm not gonna have my kids. Letting them think that this is the right environment. This is exactly. this is what's happening. Now I grew up in that environment. Yeah. And I made mistakes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I did not want that for my kids. Now. Yeah. That's the last thing I would do is have fifty bags of marijuana on the table and my son running around the house. Yeah. You and, know what I'm and saying? That's what that's what I'm trying to get, you know, the the adults to remember. Just to remember that, you know, when you was a kid, how you noticed certain stuff going mm -hmm. on. And a lot of times, grown-ups think the kids don't see it. They mm -hmm. see everything. They see everything. And you hear think everything. They, yeah, you think they don't, but they see everything. They, they see, you know, you slim. think they, they ain't smart. Well, you, you bringing different dudes in the house, talking about this your uncle, this your uncle, bam, bam, all the time. Yeah, the, bam, bam, going to room and the door closed. You got five different clothes. uncles coming home. You know what I'm saying? And uncle, uh, yeah, yeah, all that wild ass butt. Have <laughs> Uncle Tom, Mo. Yeah. Oh, you had to throw yourself up in there. You, but yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you know, like, that stuff that stuff affects kids. And a lot of this stuff is going on, man, with these youngest. These youngest angry about yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. man, they angry. They only had no respect or no remorse for the things Slim. that they're angry. Slim, I'm trying to tell you, they was they just not brought up like we are, but something my man Eagle always tell me, man. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it makes all the sense in the world. You cannot stop, you cannot take a young brother off the corner and don't have nothing to offer him. Exactly. Don't have nothing to offer him. Why are you but taking him off the corner? Because this gotta, is a part of his survival. Well, you got to offer, offer him right. before he get to the corner. Right. Yeah, if you can get him before, <laughs> but what about the ones that's already there that we trying to get off the corner? Because they are, they are 
They are being an example for their little brothers and little cousins and 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 I'm nephews. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. I'm also working on a program that's going to cater to or gear, be geared towards young people from the ages of 18 to 26. Uh, it's going to be a 12 week program, and the program is going to have um, a lot of things to do with getting your life correct. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to deal with um, teaching young people about finance, mm -hmm. teaching about credit because they ain't teaching that in our community and our household. People don't know how how powerful credit is. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Credit is basically your word. Yeah. You doing what you say you're gonna do. Right. Right. But in the field of finance, it's extremely powerful because it, it offers you the opportunity to do things without necessarily having to put your money up. Mm -hmm. right. Whatever it is, like the the and, and a credit score is basically how good your reputation is. You know how somebody say, well, this per this dude right here, he official or, right, or right. he keep it 100 or whatever. Right. That's what credit is. Right, exactly. But this credit right here is more powerful than somebody saying right. on the street or, or TC, he real. Yeah. That yeah. don't mean nothing because right. most of the dudes on the street broke. Right. You know what I'm saying? They might act like they ain't broke, but they broke for real. Well, my credit, my credit can't speak for my name and my loyalty. <laughs> No, no, my no, no, credit no. is all twisted, yeah. but I'm a good man. <laughs> yeah. And my word stands on what I'm saying, man. I'm just saying, I cannot base my life on my credit score. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> but you can improve it. You man. Can, but the point is, is I'm that, going through like some I changes, said, Mike. Listen, that's, that's why I said from 18 to 26. We gonna we gonna try to get these we, young people man, we had to go straight out of school, straight out of the street. Sixty then, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> go eighteen yeah. to sixty. Yeah, but we gonna we gonna deal with um, uh, um, health hygiene. We gonna deal with um, uh, uh, fitness. We gonna everything. Yeah, yeah. We got Mike Mike uh, Mike Lane. You know he's mm -hmm. a um, personal trainer. Right, right. We got like we gonna. Is he actually doing it now? Yeah, yeah. 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 So good. we gonna That's we gonna enough. go through the stages, mm -hmm. put people in a position. Right. And after they finish the program, they're gonna get a thousand dollar certificate. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna join that. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. Hey, look, Mike, man, it's a pleasure having you on here once again, yes, man. Sir, you yes, already sir. know. Man, you got to do a whole hour by yourself. Yes, sir. See, thank you, son, for mm -hmm. coming, man, once again. Because I just called him out the blue, man, and he came, man. Trust me, it's hard for me to get him. Yeah. I'd be like, man, what you doing? Uh, Paul, man, I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah. <laughs> He'd be busy. But we nah. run out of time, man, so we're going to have to get up off this station, man. You know what I'm saying? Do, do some shout-outs. You got some shout-outs real fast? You know, yeah. shout-out to some, your daughter you know, yeah, shout out to my kids. Yeah, man, you know? yeah, yeah. What about you, Mike? You want to shout out? Man, shout out to my city. Shout out to the city, man. Yeah, Look, shout out to the city, DC. Yeah, to the DC Go Go City. Yeah. Official now. <laughs> DC official music, right? Yeah. So look. Um, as I always say, man, you know, if ain't nobody told you they love you today, we do. From this time to the next time. Peace. We out of here. We out of here. <laughs> we out of here. <laughs>